What is going on YouTube? It's Nasty J bringing you a video on leverage without leverage. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? It means that you use physics to get past objects instead of using the Neuromod for leverage. Maybe you're going on a playthrough where you're not going to use the Neuromods to get that achievement. Where you can't use any Neuromods. And you want to get in these rooms or get certain suit chips or whatever the case may be. I playing the game before I knew about the unlimited materials glitch or exploit played the game the right way and I was saving my neuromods for things that I actually wanted to use and leverage wasn't one of them so me being the resourceful person I am I, I approach the situation like I would in real life and in this video you can see I grab an object in the environment and how I do it in real life is I'd, I'd slide it in the side and then I would apply pressure on the back end forcing the front end of the object to pivot inside and push the the object blocking the way out if that makes sense to you so here you can see and you can do this with any object now it's normally not this hard this is a big crate it's on top of a platform there's security bars on both sides so it's extremely difficult it took me about five minutes to do it but I got it now any other time in the objects whether they be just like some suitcases stacked up or something those are easy grab a chair grab a stool um, I've even used a box before um, and in this case I just right upstairs because if you watch my site where to find the psychoscope in psychotronics in the security room uh, before you get to the bathroom before you drop down in this hole there's that little sign or whatever just you know it's just laying up there or whatever you can grab that and then drop it down there and then bring that down there and then you just pry it on the sides now a couple of times it got stuck here in the bars but you can still grab it and move it when it's all see-through <laughs> inside the little crate thing there and it'll pop itself back out but yeah I mean I <laughs> I've been wanting to make more videos and especially on that unlimited materials uh, exploit but I already seen that there was a bunch of them on YouTube and I thought to myself well why I mean God, I'm not desperate for that many clicks like do I really need to make that video I mean if if y'all think I should make that video and just put it on there just to have it just anyways um, you can just let me know if not then it's no big deal um, Besides that, I mean, I had some thoughts on the game, and I might do a video if anybody cares to want to listen about my thoughts on the game and how to get these achievements. Like, there's an empathy uh, counter in the game where you save people or kill people. It either adds or deducts points. So on my first playthrough that I played, I had to look it up, and I looked it up, and I said, okay, killing Aaron Ingram, the guy um, in the tank that you can harvest him for material for you know the typhons if you kill him it's a minus one point um and then secondary objectives in the game give you a point plus instead of negative the other thing is in the arboretum you face that big giant typhon and that mind controls people and i saved rainy which was part of the objective but the other i guess four people died and that went against me because it said that I killed four people and it's like I didn't kill anybody but okay so that's minus five points that I have right but I still have tons of stuff that I can do in the game to get more points and as far as these guides go they say you have to have four empathy points four plus to get the good ending in the game to get that achievement so I played the rest of the game multiple times I played the ending multiple times to get to make sure I completed all those objectives and saved everybody that I could and I did but the achievement never popped for me it it never gave me it even though if I go look in the save data and I go back into the save game I can see the objectives that are completed that should have awarded me points I saved Alex I've saved the doctor I saved Sarah I've saved whatever that one chick's name is that has that disease and uh, it still didn't give it to me but as you can see there like I said you keep forcing your way into the corner and bloop, it just plops out on the ground so there you go you can get in that room it's got some good stuff inside that supplies right there is the mimic hidden detection gen 2 which you get the first one getting the psychoscope and um, 
that's where you find the second one so I just thought I'd make this video if you want to um, let me know what you want to see I mean I I just need to know really like what y'all want my subscribers are usually just happy with the content that I post and uh, they do comment but they're usually just talking amongst themselves and I've had some requests here and there but uh, I would like to engage more more live streams um, I was thinking about doing a Q&A on Prey. We come in and ask me, how do I solve this mission? Or what do I have to do to do this? And I can pull up a complete guide and, and show you and give you my thoughts on how to complete it. Where to find hidden things. Side missions, all that. I have all that information if y'all want to see it. Or if you'd like me to make the videos of each one. I can go through each mission. Each, each thing that you encounter and what to do. Uh, if y'all want to see it, you know, that's just up to y'all. Y'all got to let me know. But I thought I'd make this video on leverage without leverage. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward and simple. I appreciate you.